hey guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be sharing with you this black forest oatmeal it is to die for but more than anything i also wanted to share it just because i haven't shared a chocolate based oatmeal like i told you guys i used to be the person who used to see oatmeal as something healthy and unflavorful um just nasty in general and after i found the right consistency for me that's was a game changer so i'm here to share with you and if you're an oatmeal hater maybe this can change your mind <laughs> let's get straight on to it the first thing you're going to need is obviously your cherries pitted um your sweetener of choice this is the one that i like to use monk fruit i feel like it has the best taste out of all of them i don't know if you've tried some sweeteners that they just taste fake in general um you're gonna need your yogurt this is the one that i use some chia seeds um like i tell you i feel like the main key to this is the chia seeds make it extra creamy give it more of a i don't know better consistency overall my lily's chocolate bar obviously some oats um if you use sprouted they have better benefits than just regular oats and then this is the protein powder that i like to use um, but this time I have it in obviously chocolate flavor, flaxseed meal, and Hershey's cocoa powder. This is the one that I found to have the less calories overall. Um, so yeah, let's get straight on to it. Like I said, you're going to want to um, take the pit out, out of your cherries. And we're going to take it onto our little stove and with a teaspoon of our sugar. Oh my god, can I talk? <laughs> Once you have added all your ingredients for the oatmeal part, you want to go ahead and bring it to a boil or a simmer, whatever you want to call it. Um, I prefer to keep it on low heat. That way it just, I don't know, it doubles in volume. It does the magic. I should have probably used a whisk here. As you can see, I was struggling to get all those little lumps out, but it worked. Um, I use maybe... I think it was 280, 300 milligrams of water. But like I told you guys, I do that to start off. And then once all the water has basically evaporated, um, I add a little bit more water and then bring it to a simmer again. Um, just so it doubles in volume. Because before I used to just boil it and it still tasted like that raw texture feeling or just very od if that makes sense i don't know but this is just how i like to eat it um i don't like it to be like pudding i still like it to have a little bit of something there that hey this is oats but i don't like it to be dry if that makes sense like that dry oat feeling in my mouth <laughs> I don't know, you guys have to try it out, but like I said, that's how I make it, um, and it just comes out perfect every single time, like just look at it, how creamy it is, it is delicious. So I let it cool for a bit while my jam part was making, I don't know if you saw it back there, but it was boiling, um, I just do it until the water evaporates and it gets that jammy consistency, um, I let it cool down just for a bit before I add on to my bowl. As you can see, it is super creamy. It's so, so good. It doesn't taste like dark chocolate if that's what you're afraid of. Um, that it's going to taste very, I don't know, that dark chocolate flavor. No, 
it doesn't the sweetener helps a lot and more than anything our toppings that's one of the key things um as well that if you eat bland oatmeal then maybe that's why you're not liking it try exploring new um toppings that you can add my go-to is always yogurt obviously it'll make it extra creamy as well um but yeah i like to uh, that's the first thing that I add onto my oatmeal, just so it starts warming up a bit. And then that's when I add the rest. Like I said, here's my jam. I kind of smashed it a little bit with the fork um, afterwards. And then I did leave some out um, just to add on top um, to get that fresh taste of cherries as well not everything's like a jammy i don't know if that makes sense i'm gonna add my flex meal uh it's rich in fiber so that's why i like adding it and a little piece of chocolate and that's it i hope you guys try it out um full macros and full measurements like i said they'll be down below in the description box If you're new here and this is the type of content that you're into, obviously don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I upload um, a lot over there, um, more on my daily day-to-day -day basis, um, what I eat and all that after losing 115 pounds. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.